Hello, this is Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts, and today we're going to do an armor review. Uh, this is for uh, House of Warfare, is the brand. It's sold through Medieval Collectibles, and this is for armor, this specifically leg armor, and I think we talked a little bit about that when I talked about the arming belt. And this is a set that I want to make sure I get done quickly because um, these legs unfortunately didn't fit me. Um, I won't be returning them, I'll actually be using them for other people in my club, which is a shame, but also a benefit. So let's get started. This is House of Warfare's Gothic leg. And as you can see, really nice. Um, beautiful fluting through there. You kind of see little hearts up there. Um, a lot of specific uh, line work in the stop rib portions of the leg. Um, the knee and the fan are just, you know, fantastic. I really love the way this looks and it probably uh, made me very interested in buying it. Another thing is it's not leather riveted. It is actually steel riveted with hinges all throughout. Uh, if you look on the inside, and get it in the camera, all of that is independently riveted together. And I really, really like that. I really like the metal hinges. And it really just gives that gothic, gothic look to it. As far as the flex, a um, little tight, so it doesn't seem to bend as far down. I think it's certainly kneel and you'd be kind of sitting up. So the flexibility isn't probably what you would expect out of a set of legs like this. You'd expect it to kind of bend more. Um, that's probably a downside, but other than that, um, because of the metal action in there, uh, overall, as I said, it's not bad, you know, as far as it does bend, but it doesn't bend like my legs that I use in my main kit. Um, once again, I think that when it came down to it, one of the reasons I really liked it, as I said, was for the overall artistic impression of gothic legs i think is really good and then you know from a sales point of view it's like how much would you pay for a set of legs like that uh these are in 16 gauge mild steel they're fairly solid very fairly sturdy but once again they were 166 dollars american i mean that would that was just an amazing price for such quality work the problem with it is they're they're too long uh, I'm about 5'7", and the knees are almost like a whole knee lower than my leg. So, and that's like at the highest level I can possibly put it before it's a problem for me to wear. So I would say if you're like 5'11", 6'2", these could work for you. But if you're on the shorter side, I'd be like, as nice as they are, give them a pass because they're, they're really not going to work for you. But if you're a beginner um, and you're looking to get into your first harness and you're trying to do uh, high gothic, uh, Maximilian style, that this, this could be something that really works out well as a beginner set of legs. Um, I'm doing a couple of these videos a little early or trying to get some out early because next week I will be at a deed of arms. Um, and I won't be putting out any material. Hopefully I will get some interviews while I am out there. So I do look forward to that and sharing with you my experience at this deed of arms. But um, I did want to get some other video reviews out. And so once again, I'll put a link below about these particular legs. As I said, the only real downside to them is that knee flex. You'd think for all those rivets, that you would get more flexibility out of that, but I'm getting a little greater than 90 degrees. So you could probably like sit down sitting up, but you can't fully close that. I will contrast this with another video on the legs that I use in my kit. And that's a custom set of legs that were made for me. So those are going to be very, very different of much higher quality and a much higher cost. But as I said, if you're taller, you're kind of getting into this and you're not worried about having to bend the knee all the way, 
um, this might be a great option for you. But if you're looking for something else or something with a little more flexibility, uh, probably not the ones for you. But if you're, let's say you're doing a lot of shows and performances, that's a beautiful looking set of legs for a relatively cheap price. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Um, we're Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. We're based out of Norfolk, Virginia, and I will leave more information about our club in the comments below. All right, take care.